This is Banjo, and today I'm going over unit capture and unit play, which will allow you to record the movement of an aircraft and play it back on an AI aircraft. I'll start by placing down a helicopter named as Unit 1, set as the player unit, and I'll set up two triggers. The command used in the activation of the first trigger will record Unit 1 for three minutes using the function Unit Capture. Be sure to define the correct unit name and time you wish to record for in this trigger. Set the activation to radio alpha so you can call the command whenever needed. If you wish to use the trigger to play the recorded path on the AI unit, then set up a second trigger with an activation of record brackets spawn my path. I'll be executing this from the init.sqf in this example. Next, define the file name used for the path data by using my path equals compile preprocess file and then the script name, which in this case is path.sqf. Next, create the path.sqf file and add the function for unit play. We'll be adding the path data to this after we copy it from the game. Next, with the setup out of the way, we can start capturing by executing the radio trigger alpha, which will begin the capture. Capture will continue capturing the unit until escape has been pressed or the unit has been killed. Be sure to try not to damage the aircraft or the AI will most likely eject from it on landing. In this example, I land the helicopter so that I can have the player unit or units eject and then the AI will take off and leave the area. Once the helicopter has left the area and I no longer need it, I can stop recording by either crashing the helicopter, deleting it, or landing it and pressing escape twice. At this point I'll press F1 to copy the data to the clipboard and Alt-Tab back into the path.sqf file. Paste the copied data from the clipboard in between the equals and semicolon just after path 1. The longer you've flown the aircraft for, the longer the position data will be. Simply save the file and we're done with it for now. Depending on how you choose to execute the path data in game, you can use either a trigger, a script, or in this case I'm calling it from the init.sqf file so it's executed on mission load. The final steps to set up the scene as it will appear in game. In this case I want the unit riding in the helicopter to be the player and the aircraft to be AI. Finally, delete the trigger to call the unit capture command as it's no longer needed. In this case, I'll also delete the second trigger as I choose to execute the scene through init.sqf instead of trigger use. And finally, on mission load, we can see init executes the path data onto the AI aircraft. Now I'll let the rest of the scene play out to demonstrate the unit play command.